This is DistroKid, the easiest, fastest, and most valuable tool for helping you get your music on all of the streaming platforms. And not only that, but it gives you a bunch of extra tools to help you promote your music as well. I'm gonna show you all about DistroKid, a complete step-by-step -step tutorial here in this video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end. Hi, I'm Regan Ram, the owner and founder of Orpheus Audio Academy. And I've been using DistroKid since 2018 to release and distribute all of my music. So I've been a big fan of DistroKid for a long time. And now I'm happy to say they are actually my first sponsor on this channel as well. So a big thank you to DistroKid for sponsoring this video here. And we're gonna look at everything you need to know when it comes to using DistroKid. So first off, how do you get started? Well, you can actually get a 7% discount on your first year when you use my link when you sign up. So you can just go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash DistroKid to get started. And when you click that link, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. You clicked a VIP link. Someone sure loves you, and yes, indeed I do. And you can enjoy 7% off your first year when you sign up now. So here you can put in your email, password and sign up. And then once you sign up, you're gonna be taken to this page here where you can choose a plan. And there's three different plans here you can choose. If you're just a beginner and you're just looking for a simple, easy and affordable way to get your music onto streaming platforms, then you can go with the musician plan here. So it's works out to only $1.92 a month or about $23 a year. And that's for one artist. That means you can upload music under one artist's name pretty simple upload unlimited songs so for just $23 you can upload unlimited songs uh, a year which is pretty awesome you uh, can include your lyrics in Google and more you get your Spotify verified check mark you can create loyalty splits which I'll talk about later which allows you to collaborate with other people and uh, split the royalties you also get access to uh, the iPhone app and 21 extra tools included which I'll cover uh, in the rest of this video then there's you, the Musician Plus plan. This is probably what I'd recommend for you if you're serious about your music and you're really wanting to get into regularly releasing and growing a fan base. And so this works out to be about $30.33 a month or about $40 a year. And that allows you to release music under two artists if you want. So if you have an extra project, a side project you release music under, you can do that as well. And this gives you everything in the Musician but it's also lets you do synced lyrics in Apple Music, so that's pretty cool. You can have your, your lyrics synced to the music. It gives you daily streaming stats. You can customize your label name. You can customize, customize your release date. So again, that's an important note there. If you sign up for the musician plan, you can't customize when your song releases. You have a customizable pre-order date too, so that's good if you want to launch a pre-order campaign or you want to help increase your odds of getting on a billboard chart or something. Uh, and by the way, I have a full video walking through how to get on a billboard chart. I'll link to that in the description below. And you can also customize your iTunes, uh, iTunes pricing. Then there's the ultimate plan, which you probably aren't going to use that unless you're wanting to release music under a lot of other different artist names, or you're wanting some of the extra bonus tools that DistroKid now has. That's one of the awesome things about DistroKid is they're always releasing more tools. They're always on the cutting edge on helping artists promote and grow uh, their music. So what this comes with is a one terabyte instant file sharing. So it's kind of like we transfer, but better. And this lets you transfer files to other people easily. And securely, you can have a password on it. You can have a set number of days before uh, it expires. I'll cover that a little bit later. Um, this also monitors you for the RIAA gold and platinum. And it also gives you access to the playlister tool, which gives you con the contact info of thousands of playlists. So if you're wanting to reach out to playlist curators and get your music on the playlist, um, this comes with a built-in tool if you sign up for the ultimate plan. So you can decide there which one of those you want to sign up for yourself. And then once you're signed in and you want to upload music, you can go right here to upload music. You can choose which services you want to upload your music to. Um, I'll go ahead and click uh, TikTok library here. You can only do this if you have 100% of the publishing rights, which I do. Uh, I'm going to upload one song, but you can see you can upload up to 35 so songs at once. So if you have a 35 song album, you can do that. I'll stick with single here. No, it's not been previously released. You can put in the artist or band name here. Uh, my band name is Andromeda Coast. And then here's where you can claim your different artist profiles. So I've already um, claimed my 
Spotify profile, mu uh, Apple Music, YouTube, and so on. Uh, I'll cover how to do that a little bit in a second. Instagram, too, you can connect your Instagram, your Facebook, so that your music's going to re be released under the proper name here. So you, you would want to go and connect these the, the first time when you're, you're doing this. You can set the release date. So you generally want to give it a little bit of time. So maybe I want to do like October. Uh, what's the release on a Friday? That's a good day to release for Spotify. Let's say October 6th time. We'll go ahead and just keep it at midnight. Time synchronization, yes. And you can run a pre-order here if you want. Choose your record label name. Your language, primary genre. So mine would be electronic. And you can choose a electronic subgenre. So unfortunately, they don't have synthwave here. So let's do, I guess, chill out is probably the closest. Secondary genre. You can upload your album cover and you can see the recommended format and dimensions here, but you can just click here to upload it. There we go. By the way, um, if you want me to create a tutorial on this channel on how to create your own album art, even if you're not a graphic designer, just let me know in the comments below because I create all my album art myself and I'm definitely not a graphic designer. So then the track title, no featured artists, no alternate version. And then here you go and actually upload the audio file. And you can see the types you can upload here. So you can upload an MP3 um, and these other files here. I highly, highly recommend you upload a WAV file um, because an MP3 file and some of these, these other formats are going to be already slightly compressed, meaning that it's lost some of the audio data. It's not going to be as high of quality. So always, always upload a WAV file if you can. And if you want, you can actually have your track mastered by DistroKid's Mixia tool, which I'll cover in a little bit. Um, some other information here, I wrote the song, so the songwriter names, you put that in here. Whether or not you've explicit lyrics, is it a radio edit, is it an instrumental, does it contain lyrics, this is an instrumental. And then you can choose the preview clip t uh, section for these different platforms, and I definitely recommend you choose the part and choose the most interesting part, whether that's your chorus or something, um, so that the song has the best odds of catching someone's attention, and then here you can set the iTunes price. Again, this is only if you have the Musician Plus Planner above. And then there's some optional add-ons and extras if you want. So you can kind of read through these and see what you like here. But I never have really used any of these myself. You can even get a kid's book on music production. Huh. And then you do have to click these check boxes down here. I've selected music, YouTube Music as a store. Recorded, the blah, 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 all these. And then you click done and then your music will be ready to release. So pretty darn simple. And then if you're working with another artist and you want to do splits, click splits up here. You can automatically split payments to your collaborators. So once you've already got a, re a release uploaded, you can choose one of those releases and then we can add a collaborator. So maybe I would do 50. You can see all the different percentages you can use. So maybe 50% for myself and I can add a collaborator and they would get 50%. And we're going to add someone new and you put in their email address. Pretty simple. And you can split the revenue with other artists that you collaborate with. So this is a really awesome way, an easy way that if you're collaborating with others, you can easily, you know, whatever your agreement is, split up those royalties and have those royalties automatically collected for you. And when you get paid, you can go here to the bank tab. Stores typically pay on a two to three month delay. So it can take some time for the actual streaming platforms and music stores to get money to DistroKid to then pay you. And then here you can set up how you get paid. So I have uh, DistroKid just paying me directly to my bank account, uh, but you do have to manually withdraw your earnings. So I've collected some earnings here so I can just go, go to withdraw earnings, continue, and then done, withdrawal initiated. It usually takes a few business days for the payment to process, depending on your payout method. Thanks for using district. And then uh, you can also see different breakdowns, see what, what you've made per artist. You can see your breakdown by songs to see which songs have made the most money and how much each song has made. And you can see a breakdown by service. So you can see how much iTunes has paid you versus Spotify versus Pandora. And even though I had music on Pandora, Deezer, Beats, Tidal, all these other services, YouTube Red. And then DistroKid also has a referral program. So if you sign up, then you can give a discount link to people you know. They sign up and they can get a discount. And you earn some money, a little bit of money each time someone sends up, signs up. 
So that's pretty cool too. So now we're gonna look at all the bonus tools that DistroKid gives you to help you promote your music. So you just click right up here and we can come down here to get heard now. And you can see there's some different playlists here. Um, and there's also a music, uh, a music social network optimized for high engagement. So let's look at that real quick called slaps here. So you can share your music on here. Um, you can sort by genre. So if you want to find other artists that maybe you want to collaborate with, or you just want to get feedback on your music, you can do that here. Then like I said, there's these different playlists. So there's wheel of playlists, which isn't really that helpful, but you can spin this wheel for one of your songs, spin the wheel. And then whatever you land on, that's the number in the playlist that you'll be added to. And you get three spins and then your music will stay on that playlist, the Spotify wheel playlist. You can go find the playlist and it will stay at that position until someone else spins the same number. So you probably won't get a whole lot of streams from this, but it is something uh, I guess where at least you're getting another data point to Spotify that your music has been added. Um, they also have the playlist spotlight. So this is a little bit better here where um, you can vote for different songs and, and the winners that get the most votes will be added to uh, a district kid playlist. Um, and so you can put your own tracks in here and, and try to get votes and try to get your music onto those playlists. So those are different little things you get access to. Um, but probably the most valuable thing here is the playlister tool. This is only available if you have the ultimate plan. So you can type in playlists here. So we could do like EDM, find contacts, uh, first, I gotta connect my Spotify. So then it's gonna search for different playlists based on the keyword I put in and give you the contact information of this playlist so you can actually reach out to playlisters very easily. All right, here we go. So now we can see different playlists here. So if we wanted to check out EDM Party, here you can see how many subscribers it has. And right there, you can see the email of the playlist curator. So you can visit the playlist to listen to it. And you can also email the curator. So that is pretty cool. And so then if we go back up here below Get Heard Now, we have Promote Yourself. So there's a bunch of cool tools here. Um, a big one is Hyperfollow. So Hyperfollow is the easiest way to make pages that have your music, videos, social media links, and more for free. So we can create a new page here. And so if you have your own website, like a WordPress website or something, you could probably create this yourself. Um, but if you don't have that or you don't aren't tech savvy and don't have the time to do that, you can create this really easily. So we can put in the name of our song here, put in an image, the title, location, bio, so, so on, links, social media button, buttons, you can embed a video, you can embed an audio player, and you can also add a tracking pixel, so if you're using like Facebook ads or something. So here's an example of a page I made for a song here, so you can see all of the, the preview here on different links where people can uh, listen to it. So we can have, I even have like a download a free song here to try to get people on my email list. So if they click on that, they can download a free song. And so you're just giving people different ways to go and listen to your music. And so this is an easy page you can use to share with your fans. And then DistroKid also gives you a bunch of easy, short video creator tools as well. So we can come down here to mini videos and you can see you can create these different videos that have your album art in them. So if you just wanted some content to share on social media, so we could select something like this. We can pick a song and you can say what you want the announcement to be out now or listen now or something title, choose where you want it to start playing the song and you can kind of see what it looks like here, the preview. So not bad. All right, if you just want some quick videos, you can generate a bunch of these and you can put them out on your social media channel. So we can say generate mini video and when it's done, we'll see it here. So here's the previous ones I've made so we can view this one. Something you can add to a story or something on Instagram or upload as a short or a TikTok. I'm going to back to promote yourself. We also have meme video generators here. So you've probably seen these before um, where it just takes clips from TV shows or movies and then like inserts your music. Just another fun way to promote. That's not it. <laughs> so it looks like Baby Yoda is trying to play your music. And then they also have this Vizzy video generator, which is a little bit higher quality here, or I should say a lot higher quality to generate, help you generate videos. So we can click get started here. You can see there's a lot more you can do here, a lot of different templates. 
So we also already have an outrun template here, which is great because I make synthwave and outrun style music. So we can choose a song here and we can replace the artwork if we wanted here, but we're gonna keep the artwork here. And you can make this a lyric video if you wanted to. So you can have your lyrics show up. You just gotta add your timed lyric file. You can create this over at lyricpotato.com. And we can choose to allow district to feature our video if we wanted. And then we can choose the size. So if you want a square for Instagram, vertical, horizontal for the different platforms. The only downside is that this is not free. Like those other tools, this is a paid tool. So, um, but still really cheap. So if you want to make a cheap lyric video, um, this is a really fast way to do it. Rather than just having to like pay someone. Um, so if you don't have lyrics, it's a bit cheaper. So for $9, you get a really nice video here. That's the full length of your song. So you can kind of see how it shows up as like a little visualizer here that goes with your music. You can see all the different templates that are here. And then there's also promo cards. So if you just want to create like static images to promote your music, you can do that as well. So you can just click on one of your songs and boom, it's going to make a bunch of promo cards. You've probably seen these before too. So just simple ways to, to get content out there to promote your new song. And lastly, there's this little upstream tool, but I haven't used this myself, but it's a way for you to potentially connect with record labels. So upstream is a free service for artists who are interested in record label opportunities by creating competition among rep record labels for your music. Artists gain unprecedented exposure to the world's leading major independent and record labels plus leverage to win the most artist friendly deals possible. So you can sign up for this by joining vetted record labels will be able to privately view your upstream profile which includes links to your music streaming stats and contact info you can change your mind at any time so yeah i don't know what all goes into this because i haven't tried this myself because i'm not really interested in a label um, but you can check this out right now it looks like they just have republic records is the only label right now but they're going to be adding others so it's something you might want to check out i mentioned be able to quickly claim your different profiles so under here is under special access where you can do that so we can go to spotify for artists you can select your artist name, get access. It'll just ask you to basically log in to your Spotify, whatever account you have with Spotify, and that should be it. That should connect you. I'm already connected, so this just logs me into my account. So what else can we, so then you can see all the different ones here. There's Apple Music, Tidal, YouTube. Um, there's even stuff on there for Twitch. So if you got Twitch channel, Twitch will link to it when your music is used in a stream. You can apply for Twitch's incubator program. So apply for Twitch's incubator program, which helps artists grow and earn money directly from fans on Twitch. So again, so many opportunities here and probably could be separate videos on these things. Um, again, if you want to like connect your YouTube channels, your uh, artist channel to a personal channel you have or your own channel that you've created yourself, you can do that here. Now, I'm already connected. So, but this is how you can go through here and quickly set that up and connect it very easily. And there's also some little ways here to enhance your music. So there's a Spotify canvas generator here. So if you want to get um, quickly create a canvas for your songs on Spotify, you can do that here. You can search for videos on Pexels or you can go to Pexels yourself individually. But if you want to do it right, right here, um, you can do that too. So we could do desert and you have different videos of a desert. So maybe this is interesting with the clouds and the cars. So you can have the duration in here next. So now it's processing and videos ready for done. Now you have a video here. Now it has the district of watermark, but you can just change the formatting of the video here. So that cuts out if you want. And then there's also lyrics. So this is where you can actually add your lyrics. So they show up in search engines and such, and you can have synced lyrics as well. So you just click spacebar every time you want the new line starts and then your lyrics can be synced up to your song. And this is also where you can add the credits in. So if you want to have, some credits you can add here. So if you want to put in who was behind the music and the lyrics and who the producer was or other stuff, the studio contributor, business gear, social media, all kinds of stuff. Other way to have put information that will show up then in Spotify and on the streaming platforms when someone goes to your song. So we can see if I pull up Spotify here, we can click these three dots here and we can click show credits and you can see the credits that show up right here. Another cool tool here in DistroKid is Vault. This gives you free unlimited backups of your music here. So right, if you ever you lose the source files of your music, you can just come in here and download your song 
and it says when it was uploaded and you got the file right here. So that's pretty cool. And again, the district also has their own in-house mastering tool. So if you don't have a lot of experience with mastering, but you also don't have a lot of money to spend on mastering because it can get expensive. It can be like $50 a song, or even if you use some like other AI tools, it can be like $30 a song or more, I'm pretty sure. But here for just uh, $100 a year, you get unlimited mastering. So if you're gonna be releasing a lot of songs, this can be something that's really good to invest in. So um, you can just upload a track. And obviously it's not gonna be as good as a human. If a human was uploading um, a master or if a human was mastering your song, right? It's AI. Um, but if you just wanna get it up to those commercial standards, right? You have a really good mix you're proud of. You just wanna get it loud enough so it matches up volume wise with all the different songs out there, then this can be a really great resource for you. Saves time, saves money, and it does a pretty decent job as we'll hear in just a second. All right, so it has mastered our song. Now let's give it a listen. That's the mastered original. Obviously the original is a lot quieter. So right, it sounds a whole lot better when you go from original to have mastered. All right, it doesn't necessarily mean it's better because when things get louder, we perceive them as being better, but we do know it's at least getting up to those commercial volume standards. So uh, as you can hear, uh, it sounds, it still sounds pretty good when we go to master to here. And we can choose the intensity of like how much processing it's doing. So we can go to low if we want less. Or high. We can also make it brighter or warmer. So not bad, not bad for just mastering your track really quickly. So if you have great mixes and you don't have the time or money to go about mastering your track, you can just throw it in here and immediately get a mastered track. And so then now that we have this, we can just click download mastered track. It's gonna take us here to generate our download files. All right, so we have our tracks here now. We can just click download so you can see you got Ultra HD. Um, that's a WAV file, 24 bits. Um, 48K, so that's really high value, uh, lossless. If you want like CD quality, you've got that here. That's the 16-bit wave, 44.1, and you also have an MP3 here. So you definitely don't wanna be uploading that. You definitely wanna be uploading one of these high quality ones um, if you're gonna be uploading to distributors and streaming platforms. So that is Mixa. Something else interesting, um, there's also now a distro vid tool. This is a separate tool for $100 a year. And this will distribute your music videos across all the different streaming platforms that now allow you to feature music videos along with the song. So that's Apple Music, Vivo, and Tidal. Right, with YouTube, you can just go ahead and upload your video to your YouTube channel yourself but that's not gonna put your video on these other streaming platforms. So if you want your video to be on these other streaming platforms, you can use DistroVid to also distribute those videos. Another really cool tool for growing a fan base is this social phone tool, right? Social media only has like a 2% rate at which people see your post and like 2% of your audience will see what you post. Whereas texts have a 98% open rate, right? When you send a text 98% of the time, people are gonna see it. And so you can actually have get this tool and it will generate a phone number for you that you can post your number publicly. Fans can opt in to receive text messages and then you can text fans one-on-one -on -one and build that relationship or even mass text all your fans. So anytime you have a new song, right? If you have a thousand fans on uh, that are opted in, you can send, hey, go listen to my song. Boom, get a whole bunch of streams. Or um, if you have a merch sale going on, say, hey, go check out the sale, what have you. So this is a really awesome tool as well. Uh, it is a bonus tool. It's like uh, 12 or $13 a year or something like that, or a month, I think. Uh, I think it's like $12 a month, so I could click a number here. Yeah, it's uh, $13 a month. So it is an extra thing, So, if, but if you're serious about growing a fan base and you wanna be able to text with your fans and build a texting list, then this is a really cool tool. And then a, another new tool that DistroKid has is Instant Share. It's kind of like WeTransfer, but a whole lot better. 
Um, so you can upload a file here. I mean, lately we transfer just hasn't been working for me at all. I'll try to send something and it will just fail, which is really frustrating. But so you want to upload a song, boom, upload it here, click upload. And all right, this isn't very large. It's just one song, but you can upload up to, I believe a terabyte and send uh, a lot of files. So maybe if you have a lot of songs, you want uh, tracks, you want to send to someone to mix or something, or you're sending files back and forth with someone. This is a really handy tool to have. And you can see it creates a link right here so you can copy the share link. You can set a self-destruct timer. I know a big problem with like retransfer is like it, it uh, deletes your link after seven days. And a lot of times they'll send links to people and then they don't download it in time or someone sends me a link and I don't download it in time and then they have to send it again. So it's, you can set it so you have a little bit more time if you want to or you can have it be three days or even never expires. Um, you, then you can also set a password. So if you want a password, protect your files, you can do that as well. So that's really cool. And then you can give this page a title if you want to like keep your pages separate so you can know what's what. You can add extra files. You can rearrange the files. Um, and then you can also download here. So this is a really cool, it's like we transfer, but for, but better. Um, but you don't get this. Uh, you only get this tool, I believe, if you have the ultimate plan in District Kids. So if you do get the ultimate plan, you do get this really cool tool in addition to all the extras that you get. Whew, that is a lot, but District Kid gives you so many awesome tools for a very affordable price. And the biggest thing is it lets you upload unlimited songs for one low fee. And that's why it is my favorite distributor. So if you're a music artist, I highly recommend you get DistroKid. Just be sure to use my link to get a 7% discount on your first year. Just go to orpheusaudioacademy.com slash DistroKid. And right, if you go ahead and sign up and you start uploading and releasing music, now you're probably gonna be wanting to grow your Spotify streams. And so if you want help with this, then be sure to check out my playlist on the screen right now, which includes a bunch of videos on how to grow your Spotify streams. With that, have an awesome day, keep creating, and I'll see you in a future video.